Hi guys, so in this video I will be talking about this vine here. Um, if you're missing the video where I talk about the spider plant that's sharing the water with it, go find that video. I already talked about that plant. Um, I don't actually remember the name of this vine. Play sad music, I'm so sorry. Um, but the really cool thing about this one is that it's also just as easy as the spider plant to start and to keep alive. So just like the spider plant, I have soaking in water. The roots are starting to form and this, like I said, you're going to have to be patient because this took probably, if I had to guess, at least six months just to get that long. But um, it does add a nice little accent to a room or like I said, a, a bookshelf like I do. Let me prop that on there. And then so what you can see here on this side, it used to be hanging really long like the rest of these. There's a few stems here and I just cut at the node and then put it into water. And if you're not sure what a node is, <clears throat> each one of these little bumps where the leaves comes out of the stem, that's what a node would be. So you would cut just under there, keep it long enough so you can keep it in the water. Um, oops, it just fell. Um, and you can still see it growing. And that is even sharing a pot with another type of ivy that is really easy to grow. And if you can find any kind of ivy, honestly, because it's invasive here in California and in San Francisco. So if you put it in your yard, be very careful because it could take over if you turn a blind eye to it. Um, and it can grow really weedy. So just be careful and be careful, I guess, if you have it in certain areas or if you have certain wallpaper or certain paint, it could latch on and also start to um, latch onto the wall, sadly. But otherwise, this itself is a really easy plant, um, just as long as this one. And if you have one pot, you can have two plants. How cool.